Hey there, Variety here. Welcome to today's video in which we're going to be doing a raid guide on the epic Sensitist Doctor raid in Taurus Land. I must warn you that this video is going to be sloppy. What I mean by that is that it was our first clear and it was far from perfect. So what I'm going to do is the first portion of this video, I'm going to skip through the fight and talk about each of the mechanics and tell you how to get around them. And then I'm going to play the entire fight on the second half of the video. If you don't need a description for the abilities, feel free to use the bar below the video to skip to boss start, and there you can watch the fight without commentary. Okay, let's get to it. So here we are at the beginning of the fight. You need to grab your potion, blue for tank, green for healer, red for DPS. It's really important to remember where the potions are because they're gonna get scrambled later. Okay, so we're gonna pull the boss and I'm gonna pull him towards the potions. It's a little bit difficult though because a lot of people are doing a lot of DPS. The only thing you need to worry about here is make sure both tanks are attacking. First up is red orbs. The DPS needs to run and grab the red orbs. Do not grab more than one orb while you still have the debuff on you. When you grab an orb, you get a debuff. You grab another one quickly, you will die. So make sure you don't grab them too quickly. They do a lot of damage on the epic mode. Next up is going to be the green slam. Basically, they're going to connect to the two people with the green potions. Use everything you can to kill them before they kill the healers and the healers need to stay away from them. You know, it's pretty easy. It's pretty straightforward. It's the same mechanic as an earlier, earlier tier. Next up, I believe it's going to be blue in which the tanks just need to run around and grab the blue. So you're going to see the water start to rise. We're going to run over and grab them. And then we're going to pull the boss back. Here is a basically don't stack. It's going to do AOE damage. Pull the boss back. And he's going to use the same mechanics that he just did all over again. It's going to go red, green, blue. Next up is Super Toxin. He basically takes somebody's potion away. So you need to make sure you go and get your potion pretty quickly. After he does this, he's going to keep doing the same cycle that he did earlier. Red, green, blue. And throw in the potential AOE we don't stack from earlier. Okay, so he's about to phase. When he phases, he gets in his big machine. Basically, what he's going to do is he's going to summon a big blue orb with a couple of adds around it. Everybody needs to single target damage it, and the off tank needs to grab the adds around the orb and drag it to the boss. It's easier to damage them there, and it pulls them off the blue so people can focus on the blue rather than going for the adds, because the blue needs to go down quickly. Okay, so after he does the blue, he's going to do a spin. So you want to pull him away from the party before he does the spin. After the spin, he's going to summon a red ad in which the party needs to kill quickly. While they're killing the red ad, the off tank needs to bring the adds from the blue orb over here and get ready for the tank swap. The tank swap is always gonna happen after he summons the red ad. So you can kind of determine when it's gonna happen. After the red ad, he's going to use an ability which sucks all your potions off and he's gonna scramble the table. So you need to basically run back to the same table that you were at earlier and pick up the same potion. I was a little bit slow here because I wasn't expecting it so quickly. So I run back and I grab it off the table and then I run back to the boss. As you can see, I was a little slow, so I pulled the boss off the green ad, but we were still able to do it because our DPS was relatively high. After we kill that, or while we kill that, he decides that he's going to run and pull all the potions off the table in which he gets the buffs. You need to make sure that you have your potions before he goes and gets his. After this point, probably should have pulled him to the middle, but we didn't. And he's going to teleport to the north side of the room after he does his big explosion. So you get in, and then he's going to teleport. When he teleports, you need to run into the colored portals, which are going to appear in the moment. Just add, it's very basic. It'll have numbers above the portal. You'll see them come up in just a moment. There's the teleport. As you can see, there's four of them. You know, blue tank, green healer, red DPS. It's really simple. Once this mechanic's over, we just basically pull him forward and we kill him.